I figured it's time for me to jump into the classic debate about art, and that's how it should be interpreted. Should it be subjectively or objectively? Should it mean whatever the viewer believes it should mean and whatever it means to them? Or should it only be what the artist thinks it means? Should it only be what they believe it expresses about themselves? Now, to be quite frank, I think it expresses the latter. I think it's meant to be what the artist thinks it is. And you might say that you object to that. You might say that you disagree with that. But I'd have to ask what art means to you. In my mind, the point of art is to express something about yourself. In our brains, we have a lot of things going on. We have thoughts, feelings, ideas, emotions, experiences. And a lot of these we can't exactly explain with just words by just giving a sentence or two. A lot of times you have to set some sort of atmosphere or get some sort of emotion stirring in the individual. And that's how you do it with art. Art is a way of sharing something and connecting yourself with individuals in a way that you couldn't before. It's basically a way of sharing ideas. So in that sense, it's basically the same thing as telling someone a sentence. You're sharing your ideas and connecting to and relating to them in some way. So how as an observer can you say that it means something different than what they intended? They had a message they were sharing, and if you don't accept that, you're ignoring that message, and you're ignoring the point of why they created it in the first place. That's kind of a common argument, though. That's not really what interests me. What interests me is how when people talk about this debate, they talk about the wrong things in my ideas. It's like when they say if you have an objective view of art, you're saying that nobody can think of anything differently of it. You have to accept their message. You have to look at their morals through that way, and you have no room for leeway at all. And I disagree with that vehemently, because in my mind, the point of art is to stir something in you. And art can do that, even if it's something that you disagree with. The unique thing about people is we all have different vantage points. We've had different experiences, our minds work different ways, we can be in different emotional settings. And if we see something, we might notice something or have some thought that the artist did not have. And that can give us a different vantage point or a different feeling than they had. In that point, it makes sense that you have some sort of different experience. But when you're talking about that, that's no longer the original person's art, because you're describing something or feeling something that wasn't there. You're describing a whole new feeling. That's something different than they never came up with. It was never in their mind. They never created that. It's something that you created in your mind. You did that. So in that regard, I'd say that you're the artist when you do that. If you look at someone's painting or someone's song and you get some sort of message that's different from what the artist originally intended, you're coming up with new thoughts and experiences and emotions to share yourself. You're different from them. In that way, you're like an artist because you're creating the new thing. Of course, you aren't really an artist because you haven't created anything. You have ideas, but you've made no way to convey that to others. So you're like potentially an artist. You have a new idea that you can share with people through whatever medium that you want. It's probably kind of risky to call making YouTube videos, especially like mine, an art. But in a way, I think it applies to this. I've gotten a lot of hate because I make a fair number of video responses to individuals. People often say that I'm doing it to hook off of their fame and their traffic and just to bring more attention to myself. And while that doesn't hurt whenever it actually works out that way, that's not my intention. If you noticed, I'm not like the standard reply girl who just replies to any popular video. In my mind, the point of a video response is to add to the conversation. If someone makes a vlog where they're sharing some idea and you're making a video response, you should either be sharing why you agree with them, why you disagree with them, or just going off on some new tangent that you found from their video. For example, a little while back, I made a video response to Vlograys on a video he made discussing why he believes that the two major political candidates for the 2012 election for president in America, how they're both dishonest and how he doesn't support any of them. His ultimate message in that is that voting is not going to solve anything and he just doesn't see the point. In my mind, I got something different. What my mind said is, yes, that's a problem that these two parties have such a monopoly on politics. But what that means is you should be voting for third parties. And some people said, yeah, that could help, but it's not going to do anything because they're going to get corrupt eventually also. Even if you got rid of Democrats and Republicans and you put new parties up there, they're going to get corrupt as well. But that's not the point. The point is that those two parties are just on top and there's nothing to really check them. They can do whatever they want pretty much. However, if those other parties have a larger margin of the voter base supporting them, that means there's less people to support them. And they're essentially a corporation. They need people's support in order to continue existing. If they don't want to fall out of existence, they have to do whatever it takes to keep people in line and keep them on their side. Now, if you're just content with them, they will lie to your face in order to make you feel like you're okay. But if you see the problem and you are willing to leave them, and enough people leave them, they will have to adjust. Because if they don't, they're just going to die off. They have to do something, right? So after watching his video, that's the message I got. Does that mean that that's a subjective interpretation of his video? No, it's not, because his video meant one thing. That art form that he created meant one specific thing. He had one idea that he wanted to share. Now, when I saw it, it stirred different thoughts. 
But that wasn't a new meaning for him. That was a potential idea that I could come to create my own art form in this sense. And I did. I made my video and it shared my thoughts. And it was a totally different thing independent of his. If you see a piece of art and it stirs something in you that the artist did not intend to happen, that's not a new meaning to the art that you discovered. It's a new thought that's totally independent of the art. It's a potential springboard that you can use to create your own art and express your own ideas and relate to new people in new ways. It has nothing to do with them. It's not attached to that old art. It's dependent on what you can do with yourself. It's a perfect opportunity to share something about yourself with the world. It has nothing to do with the artist that made the old thing. It's you. It's totally you. And you can create this thing. You have the ability to. If you have these ideas and messages that you want to convey, you can do it. It's all on you, so do it. Create your own art and express your own ideas with the world. Oh yeah, and as you might have noticed, I use a lot of jump cuts in this video. I know that that's kind of unpopular and I'll be compared to Ray William Johnson. But I noticed that in a lot of my videos, I have moments where like, Oh, yeah. And then you got to, uh, uh, uh I, I do a lot of that, you see? That's just generally what I tend to do. And if I'm trying to convey a thought to people, I don't find that very productive towards what I'm trying to do. Plus, I tend to ramble a lot because I try to keep talking, but it's hard to keep your thoughts straight when you keep talking so you can ramble. I guess you could say this is a new style of vlogging that I'm trying out, and you can let me know what you think. Is it good or bad? Anything that I can improve? Let me know down below your thoughts and how I can make it better and how I can convey my thoughts to the world better. Thank you.